Hi guys, welcome to the first installment or first part uh, in this mini series, Tech Diet for Isolation. Um, if you hear a bit of noise here, I'm coming from my home office. If you hear some banging upstairs, my daughter has decided to um, listen to Frozen soundtrack on repeat. So that's always going to be fun. Uh, but anyway, we'll try and keep it down. Um, my first part here and the first topic that I want to tackle today is around primary school age kids or younger kids in general. So I'm talking sort of age three to about 10 or 11. So there are a couple of key principles here that I want parents of this age group to keep in mind, or grandparents, mind you as well. Um, so the first principle that I think we should keep in mind is it's okay to have a little bit more screen time, okay? Shock horror, I know. It's okay to have a little bit more screen time given this pandemic. And the way that I wanna use it though is an opportunity. And any of you who have read my book, The Tech Diet for Your Child and Teen, will know that this is something that is just a given for me. So what I mean by that is, and I, I've been you know, in clinic, virtual clinic, um, with kids of this age group all week, and I've been encouraging their parents to focus on two things. First of all is sleep, okay? I've said it a million times, but we wanna try and maintain a sleep schedule so that when this is over, they're not going to be you know, all over the place with their sleep. And the second principle is to continue to encourage off-screen time and exercise. Now I know that second one's really tricky, all right? We can't just chuck them in the soccer team or the AFL team or the netball team anymore. Uh, regular classes for swimming and gymnastics are not on. But get creative here. You know, you've got a million things in the backyard, whether it be a trampoline, uh, or for those of you who don't have backyards, you know, it might be doing some yoga or some other exercise um, in the house. So, you know, get creative with whatever the restrictions are in your part of the country or the world, and then reward that activity with screen time. So if you're going to increase screen time, dangle the carrot, okay? So my daughter yesterday, she loves doing yoga, but she was getting a little bit antsy about it. Um, my office, in fact, is usually the yoga studio for her. Uh, she makes, makes her feel kind of special. I told her, look, let's do 15 or 20 minutes of yoga and then we can jump on the Wii, all right? So that leads me to another point here. If you're going to increase screen time as parents, I would encourage you for this age group to try to make sure that you don't set yourself up to fail. What I mean by that is, steer them towards things that are a little bit more difficult and less mobile. So if you give them a phone or an iPad, it's easier for them to take it in their room or there will be arguments when you try and take it back off them. Um, so that's the first point. If you stick with things like TVs that are bolted to the wall uh, or even consoles that are a little bit more difficult and have power outlets, that's a bit easier to control. The second point would be, if you're gonna go down the gaming route, which I have in my house, okay? Gaming is not the enemy here. But for me, we pulled out the Wii. Uh, for some of you who may remember, you know, I think it was 2006, 2007 when that came out. And we've been playing tennis and Mario Kart and stuff like that. Why? Because in shorter bursts and without the internet connection, that console is actually a lot easier to control than something that is an app or an online game on your phone or your iPad, okay? So just to recap here, use technology and extra screens to get things you want, like sleep and exercise and off-screen time. And as well as that, steer them towards screens activities that are not internet-based and that are easier to control, okay? Hope that helps, guys. Um, be back at you soon with installment two. If anyone has questions that they want me to answer, please comment in this DM or send it to your friends and let them ask me questions as well. I'm gonna try as best I can. Cheers.